Bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. This is Dr. Sheikh Haytham Al-Haddad talking to the Dutch people, the Dutch media and the Dutch people in general. First of all, I would like to express my thanks to all of you for your hospitality and for your generosity during the short stay that I stayed recently during this uh, media hysteria or row that took place regarding my uh, visit in uh, February, February 2012. I would like to thank all of you. Yes, we have fundamental differences between ourselves, but I think as we all living on this globe, as we all living in Europe, I think we need to talk to each other openly, frankly. No insult despite our uh, disagreements. This is one thing. My message to all of you is the message of Quran. Read Quran. See whether I am wrong, whether I am, as some media outlets called me, whether I am an extreme clerk, uh, whether I am following the wrong way or not. Please read Quran. And once you read Quran, you will know the truth. The other thing I would like to uh, tell you that we have to be careful. There is a creator that all of us submit to it. There is a creator that all of us submit to him. And this creator, he did not create us for nothing. He created us and he wanted something from us. He doesn't need us, but he created us for a purpose. What is that purpose? To worship him in order to what? in order to go to paradise. In paradise, we will be living forever in happiness and in luxury life. But if we go against the will of the Creator, then we will bear the consequences of what the Creator promised. And what did the Creator promise? Those who go against His will and reject to submit to Him, the Creator promised that it is hellfire forever. So remember this. Don't say that at the day of resurrection, once we are all resurrected from our graves, no one should say that no one ever reminded me or no one ever told me that there is a resurrection and there is accountability after resurrection and the one who goes against the will of the Creator will be sent to the fire of hell. So don't say that no one have warned us. No, this is a warning for everyone, for the whole humanity. And that's why I always say to anyone, Muslims or non-Muslims, let us read Quran and discover the truth. Don't just insult and don't think of yourself. You may insult, it is up to you, but who is going to lose? This is the big question. Don't think of how Islam is portrayed in media. Don't think about all of this. Think of yourself. Give answers to yourselves. Who created me? What is the purpose of my life? Where am I going to go after I die? These are the essential questions because no one is going to help you once you are resurrected. So think of those questions and I am sure whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a Christian, whether you are an atheist, something in your heart is telling you that there is a creator above us and we have to submit to him. This is something inside yourself. Don't deny that. Don't claim that there is no creator. Why something inside yourself is telling you that there is a creator and this creator has to be worshipped. This is one thing. The other thing is some people might like to just forget about all of these things or they say that if we do not submit to him, we will not be accountable. No, if you do not submit to him, still you will be accountable. Think of those words before insulting, before rejecting, before closing your eyes 
and ease from those realities. And if you do not believe me, as I said to you, read Quran. Let me propose another proposal to you. I was in Prague uh, last week and I have seen people who were atheists and they were doing prostration. They were prostrating on the ground. So I ask you to prostrate between yourselves. You don't need to expose this with any other person uh, in front of any other person. Prostrate between yourself and yourself and ask the one who created everything if there is a creator to guide you to the truth and you will be guided thank you very much this is Haytham al Haddad talking to you from Amsterdam in February 2012